uh, one, they're very, um, they're very, uh, the words. Now, this is when it starts kicking in. Ah, <laughs> my brain. Power of the meat sticks. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> words. So guys, back here with Ring of Fire. We got season one, episode four. I'm here with uh, Elias Theodoro from the UFC, Spartan, the main event. Uh, you know, ring boy. Magic. Ring boy, ring boy, and Victor ring boy. BTC. He's being BTC ring boy. BTC ring boy, first and only. Mm -hmm. First and only. How are you doing today? How are you with spicy food? Pumped, both excited and scared. I get fed and tortured along the way. And tortured along the way. At least uh, we suffer together. Yeah. Just like the beautiful Go team. MMA. Go team. <laughs> How are you with spicy food? Are you good? I love it. You love spicy food? Trey. Trey? All right. Well, let's get started, man. Let's Here, start it. Got this first one. Salem Plot. You like the, uh, the drum? The Give him my little drum on. We can right. do the switcheroo you if you do like. A little dip in there? We'll a little, little dip that. Dip. Get we'll her dip in there. That. You take yours too, and I'll just dip right back in. <laughs> it's not double dipping the chip if you haven't eaten it yet. I still wouldn't. You See, based, based on the... Based the on label the alone, this would be the hottest. But if you look, we only got two little, oh. two little peps right there. Oh, someone's two done this peps. before. Two little Cheers. Peps. Cheers. Oh. I'll touch it. <laughs> I like how there's always a tube. To being the tongue. Uh, <laughs> touch meat sticks. Touch meat sticks, yeah. <laughs> being the busy man that you are, fighting UFC, ring boy, or ring boy, ring boy for Invicta. How do you find that you keep yourself on your toes every day? Do you find that you have a daily routine? What has to be perfect in your life to make sure that you have the momentum to keep going forward? Uh, definitely a schedule. The schedule is very important. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, uh, obviously I, uh, I am at the place in my life where I get to do what I love. And if you love what you do, it's never really a day of work. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it's not, it's not a nine to five. I'm um, alert to mixed martial arts and then everything else that comes with it. But um, just gotta keep doing it. How's a typical day start? Um, normally it starts the day before. I'll get it ready with uh, whatever emails I need to do. Mm -hmm. um, I have those kind of out because I'm a little bit of a, um, uh, what's called night owl, if mm -hmm. you will. And uh, get ready for all my emails. And you know, I stop sending them at you know, 12, one o'clock in the morning <laughs> because then it looks a little weird on, on the opposite end. So I'm um, wait till that 9 a.m. day. It's end. It's end. But um, wake up, usually drink two glasses of water to start the engine in some capacity. Mm -hmm. And then uh, and then I'll go um, in the rest of my day, whether it be, you know, prep for the first training session, uh, any client calls or emails that need to be sent out, like I said. Mm -hmm. Naturally a post. Naturally. Pixar didn't happen these days. Yeah, this is true. Social media is important. It's true. It's it's true. I've been told. This is true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to the Door next. number two. Yellowpino, man. Yellowpino. Hell, Hellopino. Yellowpino, we got it. We'll do the old Hello switch. Pino. You do drum, I do drum. Ah, drum, drum, and get some. Mmm. Mmm, please. Yeah. Oh. I like your style. Mm-hmm. Well, like your style. Very similar. It's going to sound very morbid, but if a dog ever attacks you or a wolf, Friend by two legs, you pull, you rip their arms right out. If a dog attacked you, yeah. you're saying, oh, well, I would yeah. knock you down, grab it, yeah, his wolf. chest cavity yeah. open. A wolf, of course, not a dire wolf. Much like those wings. That's good. That's very good, right? That's a taste of sauce. Mm. Uh, taste of sauce. When's your next fight? I know you've had a few opponent changes. You know who you're fighting now? Uh, December 8th. Um, it'll be uh, Toronto. Yes, Toronto. Beautiful. Bring it to the homeland. Originally, I was going to fight September 22nd mm -hmm. uh, in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Oh, wow. Okay. Instead, my opponent got injured. Mm -hmm. um, he was going to fight again. We rescheduled it to December 8th, but unfortunately, got injured again. And. Uh, Instead, Eric San Eric Anders will be stepping in. Beautiful. How do you see it? You match up stylistically. Um, I think very well. Uh, he just fought actually recently against a, a mutual opponent, um, Diego Santos. Yep. Uh, we did some of the similar mistakes, but uh, he got knocked out. Got knocked out. And um, I think uh, in regards to that, he kind of shows, you know, he was where I was in some regards, you know, two years ago when I fought Diego and. Um, he held on. He did many of the same mistakes in regards to wrestling and uh, against the cage. 
and paid for it uh, with a TKO. Yes, yes. So uh, either way, he's a tough SOB. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try and knock my block off. Mm -hmm. I think um, going back to the skill set, he is a southpaw, mm -hmm. and this will be my tenth fight in the UFC, and I believe eighth southpaw. So um, or seventh southpaw. Okay. Um, okay. So nothing new. I, it's nothing I haven't seen before, mm -hmm. um, and I'm gonna show him the difference between chess and checkers. Your unorthodox style will definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely hold on, that's for sure. Hell yeah. How you doing with these? I'm good. Doing good, right? I'm good. Move on to a little ghost pepper. I think you got the drum. Man. Drum, drum. Drum, drum, drum. Meat sticks. <laughs> you know. I got them. Halloween on the rise. You have any yes. favorite candies? Favorite candy. Favorite I've... candies? Favorite outfits, you know when you're being this Candy guy? is my favorite candy. <laughs> 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 so, um, don't discriminate. I definitely mm -hmm. prefer probably chocolate, chocolate. more than uh, your traditional candy. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, one of the, the, the real favorites growing up was probably that crunchy one. Or is it crunchy? It's orange. It's like orange, it's almost like a toffee. Oh, with like the... Uh, like almost, it's bright orange. It's almost like the honeycomb style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I always get stuck in your teeth. Yeah. Mm, <laughs> Cadbury's crunchy, a delicious golden honeycomb center smothered in a thick chocolatey coating. If you melt it in your mouth, crunchy could last longer than other bars, but you insist on crunching crunchy. That's the way crunch, 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 we like it. <laughs> I do Got that life. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's the win, eh? I'm really I, close. It's up there. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. The little small bags. I seek them out. You seek but them out. if I'm gonna say, if I, truth be told, if if um, I'm gonna talk favorite candy, desert island candy. Yeah, it's gonna be um, uh, Cadbury eggs. What are they? Mm. Yeah, they have new Oreo ones. It's changed my They're life. They're getting smaller over the years. You know what You've seen the Cadbury. Well, we're getting bigger. I don't know. <laughs> Start eating them when you were a child. Just so big in your hand, right? But they have Oreo now. They have them in Oreo. What's this? Just I'm like... I'm so basic. I love Oreo. Or cookies and cream. <laughs> so basic. Oreo. So, you have a method of eating your Oreo? Huh? Everybody has their own method of eating the Oreo. Milk. Milk, milk only? Dip? Milk. There's milks involved. <laughs> <laughs> or almond milk. Yeah. I don't discriminate. Yeah. Too. Got the Marugia Scorpion. Woo! <clears throat> I think you're on. You drum or am I drum? I so think drum, I had... not drum, drum, not, not drum. drum. There's a method. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that. Oh, <laughs> oh I got a spurter. <laughs> Get your minds out of the gutter. That was me, that was me. Since trademarking the main event, mm -hmm. is there any products that you find that you can't live without? Give your hair that super sheen? Well, yes. Um, I've actually uh, partnered up with a local company. It's called Wise. Um, they're very, uh, one, they're very, um, they're very, uh, the words. Now this is when it starts kicking in. Ah. <laughs> My brain. <laughs> this is my, but um, they're very focused in regards to, uh, obviously nothing but the best in regards to the product that's in there. It's very um, organic. Mm -hmm. um, most of their actual um, products are just about vegan. The only thing that kind of um, interferes with that, it has beeswax, so it can't beeswax. technically. Um, oh yeah, she's getting there. <clears throat> Woo! They have reusable, uh, Containers, which is uh, very um, obviously forward thinking and uh, environment friendly and Even with your product and um, definitely down by that and uh, in regards to uh, a resume regiment for the most part um, What I tend to do is allow Obviously the product that we mentioned but allowing my own natural oils to come in um, in regards to uh, you know only sh um, Let me fully sh uh, shampooing and conditioning, uh, you know every other day or kind of like being one with my hair and understanding it. I'm saying a lot of words, but. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever go with like the, uh, what are these, like baking soda and apple cider vinegar and stuff like that? Like mm, I would do coconut hair? oil, if anything. Coconut Get oil. Get a little slick in there. <laughs> slick, coconut oil is good, man. Yeah, that's that work. Delicious, put it in my pancakes, put it in my hair. Yeah, go fit with your uh, eggs, man. Sweet baby Jesus. <clears throat> All right. 
Drums. <coughs> These two are the hottest. I'm excited. Oh, you're Ooh. sweating, buddy. I'm sweating, bro. I'm sweating. <laughs> they make you do this every single time. I'm sweating, bro. I'm sweating. <coughs> <laughs> You're gonna be like the guy versus man versus food, where it's like I hate my job to the end of this. Uh, You're that's, that's fine. Woo! Touch the sticks. <laughs> Bang! Oh, you're just going in, right? I should I should test your uh, wolf bone technique. Mmm. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> it's like we're... <laughs> Body's rejecting it. <laughs> See, as you're dying on this wing, I want to know what makes, uh, you know, just even about giving back, man. Because I feel like throughout your whole career, you've always been about your fans, giving back to your fans. How did that start? Who got you into that? I know you've run contests with fans. Giveaways, give backs. Like, how did you get into that, and how you know what well, does that bring? I think uh, mixed martial arts, in many, many ways, is uh, one of the most give like one of the most accessible sports out there. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I, I started first and foremost as a fan of mixed martial arts. So, I'm kind of. Um, I love what I do <laughs> so much. It's so beautiful to see people that appreciate what I appreciate. Or, no, um, that's obviously the heat. Uh, but again, and I, I love what I do, and I still kind of pinch myself that I do it. So if someone's, you know, interested in what I'm doing and, you know, the story and the journey along with me, it means a lot. So uh, to have them in my corner, you know, not necessarily physically, but still very literally to me. In, like, to me. And it's a, a great way to kind of you know, start a conversation. And like I mentioned, I'm a fan first and foremost. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's a way to kind of interact and give back to the sport and, uh, you know, maybe spark some, um, maybe spark some you know, future MMA, future MMA fans uh, or fighters yeah. in their own right. Or even just fans. Um, mm -hmm. You know, the last thing I want to do is ruin someone's perception of mixed martial arts because kill I had a bad day of some sort. Yeah, even kill the stereotype of what MMA fighters are supposed to be. Yeah. But again, I think uh, mixed martial arts is very, um, very uh, accessible compared to um, other sports, and you know I'm trying to keep that going. And uh, first and more foremost, like I said, uh, I'm repeating words because my brain is on autopilot right now. <laughs> You're sweating. I'm sweating. Bro. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Woo! That's a torturous <laughs> thing. <laughs> You pick straws? Like, yeah. <laughs> like, like the bird damn. matches, the bird matches, the bird matches. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Touch our sticks. Wait, what? So it doesn't really matter. They're, like you, ugh. words. That's probably left over for some other sentence to ask me. I thought you were just gonna go in and clean it. It was. Here's that. Oh, I just like that. Here's that. My favorite Saturday night pastime, bro. Oh, fighting, watching a UFC fight. Watch a UFC fight all day. Obviously, we have. Can we do some of the live Twitter feeds or something like yeah, that? Yeah, be too? a part of that conversation. Yeah, man, that's gotta be a lot of fun interacting with the fans. Yeah, it's right back time. to the same thing, right? If we're going the lateral, yeah. it's uh, UFC night's a way for me to connect. With all the fans and other, you know, fans of myself, and more fans, of, more importantly, fans of the sport. Mm -hmm. So I love what I do, and uh, it allows me to kind of be plugged in the matrix um, <laughs> and part of, uh, you know, the, the fighting um, ether in some capacity, yeah, uh, yeah. connectivity, and it's a beautiful, fun thing. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, now, after making it through all six wings of all this madness, wow. Is there anything going on you want to promote? I know you talked about your fight, but do you have anything else on the go that you I'm want to talk for about? I'm excited for BTC, uh, what's it called, and, uh, November 24th. Yep, November 24th, Van Dedden, yeah. Peterborough, I'm really Memorial pumped Arena. about that. There's some yeah. great fights. Uh, yeah. What's it called, obviously, I love the um, the promos that you guys are doing. Pro for the, 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 the new yes. movies. The posters are amazing, right? Let's go back to where we started. How does that taste now after having all that? Can you so even taste better. it off your tongue? That's actually so sweet. 
feels so much better. Even after licking that bad boy, impress me. I'm almost ready. Almost ready. Bah, this wow. has been great. This has been great. Thank, Thank you so much. Later. <laughs> Yeah, on the way out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, text you. I'll you. text you tomorrow, bro. I'll text you tomorrow. Uh, we'll see how this goes. You won't like. I'll like it anyway. Don't worry. <laughs> Woo! Sir? Let me, Boom. Let me give you a proper... Oh, you're going to clean that hand for me? Live Spartan Theater here, a.k.a. the main event, a.k.a. the ring boy, a.k.a. Spartan. Uh, I was going to obviously talk about my next fight, December, uh, December 28th, Paul. How can people get hold of you? At Elias Cedar on Instagram and Twitter. December 8th? Yes. December 28th, right? <laughs> December 28th? December. December 8th. Yeah, we're going back to the past. <laughs> back to the future. Back to the future, back to the past. So December 8th, <sighs> Toronto, November Esophagus. 24th, Peterborough, Esophagus, Burden. Oh! Awesome. My man. Thank you for having me. Thank, Thank you. you for feeding me. I'm gonna get some more wings. Yeah, that's it. Those over there, bro. There's more. Double dip. <laughs>